Before America ever touched the stars, there was a woman, unseen, unheard, almost erased from history. She didn't wear an astronaut suit. She wore quiet confidence, unmatched brilliance, and courage rooted in calculation. This is the untold story of the genius who sent America to space, not from a rocket, but from her desk. The world knew astronauts, but NASA? NASA knew Katherine Johnson. So why haven't you heard her full story? Stay with us, because what you're about to hear will change the way you see space, science, and black excellence. Katherine Johnson was born in 1918 in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, a small town, but a mind too big to be contained. By age 10, she finished high school. By 15, she entered college. By 18, she graduated summa cum laude in mathematics and French. She didn't just love numbers. She spoke to them, and they listened. I counted everything, she said. The steps, the plates, the stars in the sky. I was always counting. After college, she taught school. But in 1953, Catherine applied for a job at NACA, the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. She entered as part of the all-black computing section, women doing math by hand, working in segregated rooms, using segregated bathrooms, getting little credit. But Catherine? She stood out. Engineers started calling her in to double-check their work. She asked questions women weren't supposed to ask. She joined meetings she wasn't allowed to attend. Why? I didn't know I couldn't, she said. So I did. Katherine Johnson wasn't just smart. She was NASA's secret weapon. She calculated the flight path for Alan Shepard, the first American in space, but her most iconic moment? In 1962, astronaut John Glenn refused to launch until Catherine herself verified the computer's math. If she says it's right, he said, then I'm ready to go. She helped land Apollo 11 on the moon and get the astronauts home safely. Later, she worked on the space shuttle program. She literally mapped the stars with her mind. Behind the brilliance was a battlefield. Catherine worked under Jim Crow laws. Being black and a woman meant being invisible. No credit, no proper title, no voice. She walked long distances to use a segregated bathroom. She wasn't allowed to sign her own reports, but she kept showing up. She kept calculating. Her resistance was her excellence. Outside of work, Catherine was calm, elegant, deeply grounded. She loved classical music. She played piano. She read constantly. She lived simply, thought deeply, and inspired quietly. No fame, no spotlight just greatness. Catherine married James Goebel in 1939. They had three daughters. After James passed, she later married James Johnson, a military officer. Her family kept her grounded. Three daughters, three legacies. She was a wife, a mother, a mathematician. And she gave all three roles her all. Catherine never chased money. She chased meaning. She lived modestly in Virginia. No mansions, no luxury cars, her estimated net worth near her passing, around two to three million dollars, but her true value, immeasurable. NASA named a building after her. She has a Barbie doll in her honor, and her story is now taught in schools. Finally, Katherine Johnson didn't just change equations, she changed the world. In 2015, President Obama awarded her the Presidential Medal of Freedom, one of the highest civilian honors in the U.S. In 2016, her life was brought to the big screen in hidden figures. But even Hollywood couldn't tell it all. Today, she lives on in every girl who dreams of STEM, in every child who believes brilliance has no color. She is a legend, with no need for legend. Some facts you probably don't know. Catherine never trusted calculators. She did it all, by hand. She almost became a singer instead of a scientist. Yes, her other talent was music. Her favorite subject? Geometry. Why? Because it's all about space, and so was I. 
She even calculated spacecraft trajectories before the craft was built. That's not math. That's magic. Katherine Johnson didn't wear a cape. She wore a dress, carried a pencil, and held the universe in her mind. She reminded us that brains have no color, that brilliance has no gender, and that some of our loudest heroes never raise their voices. So the next time you look up at the stars, remember, a black woman helped us reach them. If Catherine's story moved you, drop a rocket emoji in the comments. Tell us what her legacy means to you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this story. Because history isn't finished. Until we tell it right. This is Hidden Legends. And this was Catherine Johnson.